God says you are not the only one. You are not the only one and I know that. This is shocking because you've been trying to convince yourself that you are the only one. But God says you are not the only one and honey, though this is difficult to take in, you deserve to know the truth. You cannot go on living in darkness. You deserve to know the truth. God says you are not the only one. You are not the only one. This is Healing Word with Pastor Ego and I'd like to welcome you to this prophetic encounter. Permit me make a prayer for you. I declare that as you receive this word and believe it, it will minister healing to you. It will revive your hope and it will bring restoration. I declare that this word will be a healing balm unto you. It will revive your hope and it will bring restoration, complete restoration, total restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Whatsoever challenge you are going through right now, God says you are not alone. You are not alone. You are not the only one who has made mistakes. You are not the only one who has weaknesses they are trying to work on. You are not the only one facing the challenges that you are currently facing in life. God says you are not alone. I know that you get to a point in your walk with God and it feels like you are the only one experiencing the things you are going through. It feels like you are the only one that God is passing through this narrow path. It feels like you are the only one that God is exposing to such challenges, to such situations. You feel like giving up because it feels like God is so hard on you. You know that there is a process you must go through, but then it feels like God is so hard on you. The challenges just keep coming and you just want to quit because you feel like you are all alone. Honey, you are not the only one. The Bible is full of experiences of people who made mistakes, but God used them to do great things at the end of the day. People who had personal weaknesses, but God overlooked their weaknesses because their hearts were sincerely seeking after God and wanting to make things right. The Lord still used them to do great things. There are a lot of faithfuls, a lot of believers, sons and daughters of God out there who are dealing with similar challenges as you are, who are dealing with similar weaknesses as you are, who have made similar mistakes like you've made, and they are all trying to make their ways right. There are people too out there who are feeling discouraged about one thing or the other. You are not alone. There is a cloud of witnesses that is standing with you. The experiences in the scripture shows you that it is possible to be in this place and come out of it and God still uses you to do great things. It is very possible. Whatever the challenges may be, whatever that mistake may be, whatever that weakness may be, God can use you to do great things. God can bring you out of this place. The scripture tells us in 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 14 and verse 18, that Elijah was speaking to God. And he says that I have been very zealous about the things of God. Even when the Israelites rejected you, I stayed committed to you. And now the enemies are seeking to kill me. And I am the only one left who is still faithful to you. And in verse 18, the Lord says, I have reserved 7,000 Israelites who have not bowed down to bow. Elijah was feeling like he was all alone. He was feeling like he's the only one who is going through this persecution. He was feeling like he's the only one that the prophets of Baal and Jezebel are seeking to kill. He felt like he was the only one going through these persecutions, through these challenges, the only one whose life was in danger, the only one who had not bowed down to the prophets of Baal. Elijah felt like he was the only one. But God says, I have reserved 7,000 Israelites who have not bowed down to bow. You might be thinking that what you are going through, you are the only one who understands it. You are the only one who is experiencing it. 
Honey, others have been there. That is why you have the word of God to guide you. That is why you have the word of God as your reference. As you read through the testimonies of others, your faith is being stirred up. Hope is being revived in the inside of you. You are receiving healing and you can go on and trust God for better experiences. The Lord says, stand firm and keep the faith. You are not alone. You are not the only one. Stand firm and keep the faith. Others have been able to deal with these same weaknesses, these same challenges, outlive these same mistakes. You too can do it. You can do it too. The Lord says, stand firm and keep the faith. I pray for you and I declare your hope is being revived in the name of Jesus. Your hope is being revived in the name of Jesus. May the Lord strengthen you in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord strengthen you and keep your faith alive in the mighty name of Jesus. Child of God, feel encouraged by this word. If you want to send me an email, maybe you need me to talk with you personally and just encourage you according to the word of God. I'm always open to do that. I'll be expecting to hear from you. I love you muchly and I'll see you in our next session. Remember, you are not the only one.